Hey guys, what is up? Connor here, and this is episode 17 of How to Code a Minecraft Client. Now, a lot of you to start this video off have been asking me when am I going to do ESP videos. For example, chest ESP, player ESP, tracers, so on, so on, so on. Now, the answer to that question is very soon. Um, I'm going to start that in season 3 of How to Code a Minecraft Client. We are currently in season 2. Each season is 10 episodes. So 1 to 9, I believe, or it might have been 1 to 10, that one was larger, will be season 1, or it was season 1, that's over now. But we're currently in season 2, and the last episode of season 2 will be episode 20. So episode 21 will be the first ESP video, and it is coming very soon, so keep your eyes peeled. However, this video isn't going to ha really have any code in it, it's just going to um, give you guys a little bit of an update. It's a little bit late, but still give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, first off, I'm going to um, recommend that you guys update all your clients using Java 8. Um, it's pretty much out now. They've pushed it out. It's been out for a while, but before it was just development builds, but now it's officially out. Um, it's been out for, a, like I said, for quite a while. Well, not quite a while, but a decent amount of time. And um, basically, um, Eclipse came out somewhat recently as well. The new Eclipse that does support Java 8, that is Eclipse Luna. And I'd recommend that you download it and update Eclipse as well. You can go to Eclipse.org, go to the download page, and it's Eclipse.org slash downloads if you're too lazy to go to the actual page and then hit this download button up there. And you're going to go for Eclipse Standard 4.4 and, you know, download the um, correct Eclipse for your operating system. So, um, do that for sure. Um, we'll get to this in a minute, but nonetheless, um, Java 8 should work fine on PC as long as you have it installed on your system, um, for Minecraft clients at least. However, on Mac, you will experience issues just as you did with Java 7. And if you noticed, a lot of you Mac users had trouble with running some clients, and that's because all of them are written in Java 7 and 8. A lot of client coders like some of the new features um, in Java 7 and Java 8, so they decided to update theirs. However, um, Mac is really funny, and the only way for you to be um, running Java 8 in Minecraft and to not have it throw um, unsupported class version exceptions, basically saying you're trying to run Minecraft as using Java 1.6 when the class is Java 1.7, so it's going to throw a bunch of errors and it's basically going to screw you over. So the answer to that is you want to go to the Minecraft app, and if you actually run the jar that this app is running, um, because this kind of just converts a jar to a Mac application, you want to make sure that you're running the jar because then it'll allow you to run the correct version of Java. So if you go into the actual um, package contents of this .app file, you'll see contents, and then you want to go to resources, Java, and then bootstrap.jar. Now, if you just drag that out or copy it out, definitely copy it because the app actually needs it. So if you copy that out and run it, then it will run a, um, a Minecraft launcher that's exactly the same as the one on the PC. It looks a little bit different from the regular one on the Mac that I'll show you in a second. But if you look right, right here, it says Java version 1.8. Um, so that's what we want. The Minecraft um, launcher is running Java 1.8. So that's how you do that. So once you have taken that out of the um, package contents of the Minecraft app, you can use that to run any client with um, Java 7 or Java 8. So you really... Um, if you are plan on using Java 8 and you want to make sure all Mac users are um, not having any trouble, then you could distribute this, but that isn't recommended. Um, you could distribute a download link to it, however. So, yep, that's how you do that. So I'm just going to throw that away. And just to show you that it is different, you'll see when we open up the actual .app file, um, it will show that our Java version is still 1.6. So once it starts up, which should be soon. As you can see, it is Java 1.6.0, not really 65. And as you can see, it's a little bit different from the other one. If you go back, it just looks a little bit different. 
Um, but yeah, that's it. There we go. Um, I'm gonna throw this away because it's coffee. So, I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a look at Eclipse Luna using the new, um, engine. It was originally titled Avocado API, but we changed it to Notice Engine due to popular request. And basically, this engine, pretty soon, I'm going to start doing my tutorials with it. In fact, Season 3 will probably debut this engine to all of you guys. And basically, what it does is, it is it's almost like a forge of um, modded clients. It gives you a nice interface to write um, mods and GUI components. However, obviously, it's not that far yet. But you, you can contribute to it if you want to um, help us out. And once it's out and released to all of you developers out there to use it um you can for example write some code and then make a pull request because you want something added because everything in this entire engine is run by events and basically what that means is um all the code is self-reliant there's no minecraft code that we're distributing so this is technically the legal way of distributing um mod, you know, mods for Minecraft, and if you want to, you can charge them, charge people for them as well, if you're using this engine, just because you're technically not distributing Minecraft code, you're distributing, distributing, um, this engine that allows you to inject code into Minecraft and, um, apply patches, so, obviously right now it's not that far, but as you can see, Eclipse Luna has a nice lo new look to it, I would definitely recommend getting it, however, Java 6 is actually supported, um, if you have it installed on your system, if you don't, then it's not supported. So make sure that you have Java 6 installed. You can still use it, I'll show you, but as you can see, this is the engine. And we have a decent amount of stuff, a good base. Basically, there's an interface for, for everything that we need. For for example, this is the first thing. Um, an entity, basically, um, when we implement this into Minecraft, Minecraft's going to implement an entity. Um... And basically, it has a bunch of information you can gather. For example, get Z, get Y, and when you implement it, all of these will obviously be overridden in the entity class, and they will return the proper values for them, so they work. Um, and then there's just a lot of stuff like get distance to position, set X, blah 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 blah, a lot of stuff, and some other stuff. An entity client player gives you a couple options. Use item, swing item, add chat message, send chat message. Um, we have an entity player, get head yaw, set head yaw. Um, if you're unfamiliar with it, what that is, basically it's the positioning of your head, the rotation up and down of your head. And that's only a factor for players. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's, you know, no to notable um network handler gonna write some packets and we'll probably actually make them so that they're the actual packets themselves aren't um just interfaces they'll actually write data out to the server i'm not sure i have to modify this whole little networking system that isn't really too much right now it took probably five minutes to write the whole thing a very nice event system um you guys can check that out on the repo don't really have time to show all of it, but it works well. Um, and Minecraft, basically Minecraft will implement this, world will implement, and world, so all of this comes together. You'll see when we do the implementation. Then we actually have a class loader here that basically will load all the classes from a jar and return an array list with those classes in it. So that'll be for like loading external modules if you want to do it like that. Um, it's up to you guys. But it does work very well, and it has been tested, so, you know, nice. End block, get ID, get name, yeah. So, if you want to contribute to this, or just download the code, code, download the code, or just use it for your general reference, then, um, just head on over to the repo at github.com slash connordevelopment slash notice engine, and you can get access to all of this stuff, um, and you can edit and submit pull requests and you can get the github app or use source tree it doesn't really matter i'd recommend the github app for github though and yeah i definitely recommend checking it out 
um, you can submit pull requests, clone it to your, um, to your computer. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, that's what this episode was, just kind of give you guys updates. I'll leave the Eclipse download link in the description as well as the repo link. Um, I definitely recommend updating your JDK, and I'll also leave a link to update the JDK to JDK 1.8 if you haven't been automatically prompted to do so already by the JDK. So yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you guys later. I'm just trying to think of nice little quick videos to do so we can get into Season 3 real quick because I don't want to leave Season 2 uncompleted. Most of this will probably just be um, design patterns probably for doing your Minecraft clients. Maybe I'll do an event system tutorial, I'm not sure. But Season 3 is going to be specifically delegated to working on ESP mods and render mods. So that's it. Goodbye. Adios. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share this channel with your friends, especially those who want to get into the Minecraft client coding community. Also, um, feel free to submit clients to me down below, and I'll get them on Wizard Hacks for you. Um, I'm sure we would be delighted to put them up on the website. And if you're not, sh if you didn't know already, I am a part of the Wizard Hacks team. Um, so I can definitely hook you guys up if you want your clients featured. Um. And you guys can actually start getting your name out there in the development community. So enough of this. I'm just going to stop talking now. So goodbye.